There's a professor by the name of Stephen Salida. Uh, he was at Virginia Tech until recently. He recently took a position at uh, University of Illinois at Champaign uh, Urbana's uh, American Indian Studies program. And, and as he was doing that, he sent some tweets that got him in a little bit of trouble. He said, When will the attack on Gaza end? Uh, what is left for Israel to prove? What is left for Israel to kill? This is the logic of genocide. Now, I think that word is too strong, too historically loaded. I don't think it's accurate. Uh, I would not have sent that tweet. I don't like that tweet. Whether he should lose his job over that is a different question, and a question we'll get to in a second. He said, rednecks need a new slogan in another tweet. Instead of kick their ass and take their gas, how about Gaza is a disaster, but Netanyahu is my master. Okay. Now, I, if you've watched The Young Turks, you can tell I got no love for Netanyahu. I think he's a right wing warmonger, drives Israel into more war and less security. Um, I wouldn't have called him master, but again, I, these are difference of opinion. Um, and then he says, Republicans are such tough guys, eager to kill for God and country. Israel slaps around the US of A, though, and all they do is ask for more. Now, I think that tweet is probably fair uh, because there was a famous quote by Netanyahu uh, where he basically told President Obama, hey, don't you dare second guess me. Now, if any other country's leader had done that, my guess is Republicans would be livid and looking to invade that country. When it's Israel, that's okay, that's okay, right? Now, again, in the fourth one, I think it goes over the top. He says, Israel's rounding up people and murdering them at point blank range. The word genocide is more germane. Uh, the more the news we hear. Okay. I, I don't think it's the right word. I, not just because I'm queasy about it, I just don't think it's the right word. Okay. Now, uh, what happened? Fired, of course. Of course. And in the beginning, they said, no, 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 no. They said, uh, through a spokesperson for the university, faculty have a wide range of scholarly and political views, and we recognize the freedom of speech rights of all of our employees. What they forgot to add in that original statement is, until we don't. Because then, they changed their minds and said, ah, speech rights and professors, we're just kidding. No, no, he's fired. So why'd you fire him? The sources familiar with the university's decision say that concern grew over the tone of his comments on Twitter about Israel's policies in Gaza. While many academics at Illinois and elsewhere are deeply critical of Israel, Salida's tweets have struck some as crossing a line into uncivil behavior. So there, apparently there's a new part uh, of now, in this case, it's not a First Amendment issue because it's not the government necessarily doing it, although it is a state uh, college, so it's the university, so that's kind of an interesting issue there. Uh, but there's rules about tenure and they're, they're related to speech, but apparently, if your speech crosses over to uncivil, well, then it's not speech anymore. Now it's behavior. So let me get this right money is speech, so donors can pour in billions of dollars and buy all of our politicians. But speech is not really speech. If we don't really like it, then it becomes behavior. <laughs> All right, well, you say, well, he had it coming. You don't even agree with his tweets. And they are, they're over the top. Well, okay, that's interesting. Let's see if there's someone on the other side that's over the top. Now, here's Wolf Blitzer interviewing Israeli cabinet minister Naftali Bennett. Let's see what he says. As we speak, we're just getting these reports, uh, awful reports, four Palestinian kids playing on a beach. All of a sudden, killed uh, an Israeli gunboat shell landed there. Uh, you've heard of these reports, right? The, the I, I just heard about it this moment. I think it's terrible that Hamas is butchering its own children. I would never take my children and place them next to missile launchers. Here's what they're doing Hamas is conducting massive self genocide. They're taking women and children, placing them next to missile launchers, and shooting the but, missiles but, at but, Israel. But these kids apparently were playing on a beach. Okay, so other than the fact that it's a complete lie, that there was on that beach, Wolf Blitzer is right, there was no missiles, there was no nothing remotely near the beach that had anything to do with Hamas or missiles. Uh, Naftali Bennett, as usual, he's a grade A warmonger. He's one of the guys on the right wing of Israel that drive Israel into further and further war. In fact, he even said that there should not be a two state solution, they should simply annex the West Bank. And I guess by extension, means logically that the Palestinians should submit and that they should bow their heads to Israel and know that they are occupied and will be forever occupied. But you saw him there, he said that Hamas was doing self-genocide. 
It's a loaded word, it's a horrible word, they shouldn't use that word. I'm sure that Naftali Bennett has also been fired. Oh, no, he's still an incredibly important member of the Israeli government. Interesting.